Have you ever needed to display avatars like these in your project? Usually they appear in many different places with different sizes. Like this on the header, here somewhere on the sidebar and somewhere on the footer. Most of the styles for such components are the same, like they have the same border radius, shadow, etc. But only the size is different. This is where creating custom dynamic components will be very useful. We'll create one in the next few minutes. But before we do that, let's look at the other alternatives so we can fully appreciate this feature of Tailwind. So the first and easiest alternative is to repeat all the styles each time except for the size. This leads to a little bit of a repetition. The second approach is to use components in your framework and specify only the size while using the component. But creating a component for such small items like avatar might be a little too much. Third approach is where you can extract all the common classes, create a component in the input style sheet, in the components layer with one of the sizes, and then override the size directly in the markup using utility classes. This third approach by far is the best one, but what if it can get better? What if you can create a dynamic avatar component and restrict the sizes to only three or four standard ones? You can even get this auto suggestion so it's easier for other devs in your team. Let's create this one right now. Head over to your Tailwind configuration file and even before we create the plugin, let's actually create a custom key in our theme called avatar size. We can actually call it anything we need, but this exactly defines what we need, the avatar sizes that are dynamic. So here, let me create some sizes like SM, that would probably be 3 rem, MD, these quotes are unnecessary, I can remove them as well. MD probably would be 5 rem, LG 7 rem, and then maybe XL, sorry, yeah. XL would be 10 rem. And now we use these sizes down here in the plugin plugins and create our dynamic component. So for that, let's first import the plugin function const plugin equals require tailwind CSS slash plugin. All right. And down here within the plugins array, we call this plugin function with an anonymous function as its first argument. Now this function will receive a single object argument that can be deconstructed into multiple helper functions. One of the helper functions that we will be using here is the match components helper function. And then we also need the theme helper function because we need to access these values from here. So within this, let's call the match components function with two arguments, which are two objects. The first one is the class name that you want to call it. So let's say we need the class prefix to be avatar and suffix to be these sizes. So we say avatar and here we define the values this way. We give the CSS rules here. So the width is same as this value, the size. So value height is also same as the value. And then we have the other common styles, like let's say border radius, which is in our case 9999 pixels, which is same as rounded full. And let's say we want a shadow or it has to be box shadow. And we might want to take this from the theme, which would be, this should be in single quotes, box, sorry, yeah, box shadow dot MD or something. So any other common styles can be added here and these will be dynamically filled once we enter the second argument which is values and they must be taken from the theme and the key is avatar size all right so that is it actually this should work let's check let's go to our index.html and try to create an image i've picked up an image and then let's give it a class, which is avatar. And there you go. You are getting auto suggestions for avatar SM, MD, LG, and XL. 
let's just say excel for for now and see if this is working and there we go we have an excel sized avatar let's try and change it back to sm and we have a small avatar if you hover over the class name also you will be able to see all the styles that were added as you can see these two were auto filled as 3 rem you know the best part about creating components like these is you can also add an arbitrary value just in case you need a one-off value like let's say 3.5 rem and there you go you do have a 3.5 rem sized avatar let me inspect and yeah there you can see these styles isn't that great now tailwind css feels even more like your own framework where you have so many such components let me know in the comments below if you can think of a better use case for dynamic components hope you had fun see you in the next one thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.